In this clip I'm going to show that the determinant of a 2x2 matrix allows for a nice geometric in interpretation. I'll recall the following. So we have a matrix A, A, B, C, D. Well this matrix is invertible if and only if A, D minus C, B, B, C is not equal to zero. So, and if AD minus BC is unequal to zero, then we have a nice expression for the inverse, namely that A inverse is one over AD minus BC times a matrix with the diagonal elements D and A and minus B minus C in this fashion. Well, this number, AD minus BC, is also called the determinant of A, the determinant of the matrix, 2 by 2 matrix A. And it's usually denoted by that A. So, here we have a picture. So, we have a vector VAC and W is BD. So we can write A as the concatenation of two vectors, V and W. Yeah, v and W. Also, since V is given, we may rotate V over 90 degrees counterclockwise. Then we get the following. V perp is no more than the vector minus C A. So if we have the in yellow the, the angle phi between V and W, then since we have the square angle, we have a half pi minus phi over here. Okay, now look at AD minus BC. Well, this is no more than the inner product of V perp with W. And we know that this is no more than, yeah, using the definition of an angle between two vectors, this is no more than the length of V per and the length of W times the cosinus of a half pi minus phi. Well, since V per is, is, is no more than the rotated vector V, and we know that that rotation keeps length equal, then we know that this is no more than the length of V times the length of W times the cosinus of a half pi minus phi. And the cosinus of a half pi minus phi is of course equal to the sinus. The sinus of phi. Well, the conclusion is, is that actually the number here, AD minus BC, equals well, something that we've been looking at. Since if we make, if we add the absolute value here, then we know that here is no more than the area of the parallelogram spanned by V and W, the parallelogram that we have here. So there's a surface. So the determinant is actually the surface spanned by the columns of the matrix A. Well, that's the f first part of the conclusion. The second part is the following, that when the determinant is zero, then this means that AD minus BC is zero. So if the vectors are have non-zero length, then the sinus of phi equals zero, which means that phi is zero or phi is pi, which means that V and W are parallel. Now you can imagine that the area of the parallelogram is a zero so that either V is in the direction of, uh, the W is in the direction of V or the other way around. 
also if the determinant is larger than zero, then of course the sinus of phi is larger than zero, which means that phi is in between zero and pi. And similarly, if the determinant of a matrix A is smaller than zero, then phi should be equal to, uh, should be in the interval minus pi zero.